Hello, everyone. Welcome to the Altus student webinar series. The topic of this webinar is car racing usage of composites in the Formula Student Race Car. My name is Joe, and today will be your speaker for the, this webinar. First, I will give a short introduction about myself. I have completed my bachelor's degree in Karlsruhe Institute of Technology, Germany. Currently, I am continuing my master's studies in the same university. I'm a member of car racing since 2018, a member of Alto University Ambassador since 2021. I'm also working in Volocopter as a composite manufacturing engineer. Here is the agenda of the webinar. First, I will introduce car racing. And for everyone who have never heard before, Formula Student Team, a brief introduction to the Formula Student Team and the competitions. Next, I will present the usage of composites in Formula Student Race Car, explaining where, how, and why are composites used in Formula Student Race Car. Finally, I will present how Alter supports and help us to simulate and design composites. What is Formula Student Competitions? Students build a single seat Formula Race Car with, with which they can compete against the teams of from all over the world. The competition is not only won solely by the teams with the fastest car, but rather the teams with the best overall package of constructions, performance and finance and sales planning. Student, Formula student challenge the teams to go at the extra step in their education to incorporate into the intensive experience in building and manufacturing, as well as considering the economic aspects of automotive industries. Teams take the assumptions that they are a manufacturer developing a prototypes to be evaluated for productions. The race car must show very good driving characteristics, such as accelerations, braking, and handling. It should be offered at a very reasonable cost and reliable and dependable. Car racing is a university group in Council Institute of Technology and participates in the international design competition of Formula students. The race cars are developed and manufactured by the student themselves. All around the world, numerous teams compete in dynamic discipline on the race tracks and static discipline in which concepts and designs are decisive. Each year, our team consists of about 70 students from various fields of studies and distribute over various sub-teams such as the aerodynamic, autonomous systems, electric powertrain, electronics, suspensions, marketing, and monocoque. A short history of car racing. The team was founded in 2016, uh, 2006 with the first combustion car. In 2010, we have the first electric car. And in 2017, we have our first driverless car. In the picture, you see two cars we built in 2021, the 21- D on the left, the driverless car, and the 21E on the right, the electric car. Now I will show a short presentation of the 21D and the 21E.
So here is the short introduction of what the student, Formula Student Team is and what car racing is. Now into the topic of composites. So what is composites? A composite material is a combination of two materials with different physical and chemical properties. When they are combined, they create a material that is specialized to do a certain jobs. For instance, to become stronger, lighter, or re resistant to electricity. They can also improve the strength and stiffness. Typical engineer composite material includes reinforced concrete composite wood, such as poly, poly plywood, reinforced plastic, such as fiber reinforced polymers or fiberglass. With the example of reinforced plastics, the fiber could be glass, carbon, aramid, natural fibers, and the matrix could be thermoplastic or thermoset, such as epoxy, polyester, and many more. Looking into the Formula Student car, where composite is used in the Formula Student race car. In the Formula Student race car, up to 60 to 70% is made out of composites, a mixture of carbon reinforced plastic, glass reinforced plastic, and aromatic reinforced plastics. In the picture, you can see the front wing, rim, push rod, rear wing, underbody diffuser, and the monocoque are made out of composites. But not only the composites that can be seen from the outside are made out of composites, but the composite, uh, the components within the race car are also made out of composites, such as the battery container, holder, seats, pedal, and many more. Now we look into what kind of composite is used in the Formula Student race car. A type of composite part is built up of two or more layers bond together, or also known as a laminate. Each layer of reinforced plastics can be woven fabrics or unidirectional fi fibers. Another type of composite parts can be a sandwich structure. A sandwich structure is, has a thick core of foam or a honeycomb bonded to a thin sheets of laminate. A sandwich structures can achieve a higher ratio of strength to weight ratios. Comparing to composites to other material, why is composite used? Composites are widely used because they are superior material property. You can see in this plot where x-axis shows the specific strength and y-axis shows the specific modulus. We can see composites materials are in the top right corner of the plot. As compared to material uh, metals, composites are better material have a better material properties. Composites offer better performance thanks to the unmatchable strength to weight ratios. Beyond lightweight, composite has additional properties and offer many more other benefits to fit the requirements of highly demanding utilizations. For example, the design freedom and flexibility with almost unlimited possible dimensions, geometries, and shapes. Next, the stiffness, uh, directional stiffness and strength is able to achieve with composite materials. It is achieved because the composites have are treated as anisotropic materials, and anisotropic materials have different material property in all directions at a point in the body. Integration of multiple functions in one part, thus allowing the consolidations of parts and a low part count configuration is achievable with composite materials. Chemistry, chemical corrosions, rust, and UV resistance make them the material of choice for harsh conditions. Electric properties, either non-conductive or conductive, depending on the fiber used. Here's an example of how a monocoque is designed. First step is to select the material used. For the monocoque, a sandwich structure, stru sandwich structure is used. The laminate consists of two types of carbon fiber, a high modulus and a high strength carbon fibers. The high modulus fiber is to achieve a high stiffness and the high strength is allowed to achieve high strain. The core consists of aluminum honeycombs and foam. Different thickness is used to achieve is to achieve optimized strength to weight ratios. Epoxy is used for the matrix. Next step is to design the monocoque. The design of the monocoque consists of the final look of the monocoque, the packaging of the components within the monocoque, the interface with other components with the monocoque, manufacturability of the monocoque. Now we look into more details in the manufacturability of the monocoque where we have to consist 
consider the demoding angles, splitting of the monocoques, designing of the negative mold. And the design, the negative mold is used to laminate on, and after curing, you will obtain the composite part. Next step is to do the simulation of the monocoque. The simulation of the monocoque is to define how thick the laminate should be and where the laminate should be located. Simulation of the monocoque helps to analyze the laminate under different load cases and ensuring the laminate is able to withstand the forces. Once the laminate is defined, each ply shape can be exported from the can be exported for the laser projection data and the flattened ply shapes. The laser projection is used during the manufacturing process to allow precise positioning of the ply shapes. The flattened patterns is used to be cut in the NC cutter to obtain the ply shapes. Next step, the design, the manufacturing of the monocoque. Starting with the manufacturing of the negative mold, then laminating the carbon fiber prepreg. A carbon fiber prepreg is an impregnated carbon fiber with epoxy. And now with the laser projection and the cut flattened ply shapes, placement of the ply shapes and stacking of the plies to create the laminates. Once the laminate is done, it's cured in autoclave. And finally, the last step is to validate the monocoque. Once the monocoque is done, some test is done to ensure the quality of the monocoque. Non-destructive tests such as the tapping test and ultrasonic test is done to ensure that there's no delamination in the structures. Torsional stiffness tests of the monocoque is also the torsional stiffness of the monocoque is also tested to validate the simulation results and ensuring we have achieved the requirements of the torsional stiffness. Now we look into the software alters that of outer that supports the designing and manufacturing of the composites components. Isacom Hyperworks multi-scale designer are uh, the software used. Isacom's advantage is to provide a quick and easy simulation setup and run less runtime. Changing the laminates or the angle of fibers with the same load cases helps to understand the composite behaviors. Isacom also have large database with different types of fibers and matrix which you are able to mix and match to understand what's the effect of behavior of the different types of fibers and matrix. Hyperworks is used to optimize the composite. Hyperworks can model in more details to provide higher accuracies. Hyperworks is also has many different functions to be tuned to tune the simulations. Multiscale Designer is a comprehensive framework for the development of high predictive and competitive effective material modelings for all material behaviors ranging from the hydro homogeneous isotropic to the heterogeneous and isotropic. Multi-scale material modeling is a powerful method to gain insight into advanced material behaviors. Here is the workflow of the monocoque simulation. The monocoque is optimized in four steps. Laminate optimization. First, the model is set up in Hyperworks, modeling all the interfaces of components with the monocoque, input the material properties connecting the components and creating the element meshing. Once the model is set up, the first free size optimization is done, where the optimization of where material is needed. Then the size optimization where the optimization take in consideration of manufacturability. Shuffle optimizations move the layers of laminate to achieve the best order of laminate. And finally, the topology optimization. After the optimization steps, the laminate is defined and ready for manufacture, manufacturing. The optimization could be minimizing of weight and achieving a reasonable stiffness of the monocoque and ensuring structural safety. This concludes my presentation. Hope you have enjoyed it and have a better understanding of a formula student de designing, simulating, manufacturing of composite components. I would also like to thank Alto for the opportunity to present in this webinar. If you have any question, please feel free to ask during the Q&A session.